trying to influence Western media and Western governments, right? Because that's why it's all in English and it's not in Farsi. Um, all of this is Michael Jackson does it. They're like, yeah, and they're all and they're all like freaking out. And so what do they do? That's clever. They mash up Michael Jackson music to footage and video of the protests and the beatings that are going on in Iran, and they do this hashtag sex of hashtag Michael Jackson, hashtag Iran. And so what they do is they start writing that. And so you start people, you, then people see them and they go like, oh, that was a really cool video. I'm going to make my own video using a different Michael Jackson song. Because what you want to do is you want to keep on extending that wave, right? And so that was something that, we, that I saw, um, that I observed with the uh, Iran and Michael Jackson. Haiti was different. Um, the Arab Spring was, has been referred to as a hashtag revolution because it was like Jan 25, then Egypt, then ha Syria, then people would just keep on tacking on hashtags on the end because they were trying to get you know, a broad audience. So anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't answer the question. Well, to me, but, the fascinating um, thing in the middle of all this yeah. was the, the tsunami and earthquake in Japan, Right. one of the most technologically advanced countries, and yet yes. uh, both the rescue efforts were very conventional. Yes. They were not hot Twitter um, things. Uh, Facebook was the only way that people could communicate that yeah. we stuck over there. Yeah. In fact, we've done direct innovation sessions on how do you social networking in crisis management right. situations. Right, right, CNN right. CNN and Fox News Network, all of our moral employees over there were using Facebook to talk to their families, to have their families tell people they were okay. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It was really weird. We were relaying things but from also, Germany to yeah. people in Japan because they, you know. Yeah, and, and Japan is kind of an unusual case as well in that the culture is much more reserved and much more private. So they don't have the kind of vehement oversharing that we have here. And also, um, in Japan, Japanese as a language is a barrier as well. So, you know, in terms of getting that proliferation, whereas with Haiti it was different. Um, and one of the interesting things to learn about the, the Arab Spring in terms of how people were using Twitter is that hashtags don't work in Arabic. So that's why a lot of the, the communication was done in English. So sometimes it's just like alphabet issues in, in terms of technology. Um.